بالظبط Okay, uh, I see your slides now, now you, and now I see it in full screen. Uh, yeah, uh, you're unmuted, so please, uh, when you're ready, please go ahead. Okay, ah, so now I'm unmuted, right? So you can hear me now, right? Yep, we can, can hear you, me? we can see you, and we okay. can see your slides. So all set. Ah, great, 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 great. Okay, so uh, can I start now? Yes, please go ahead. So, uh, so thank you for uh, attending uh, Jetscape uh, School 2021. Uh, so I'm Yasuki Tachibana uh, from uh, Akita International University, and uh, I'm uh, also a member of uh, Jetscape Collaboration. So here, uh, I'd like to focus on uh, medium excitation by Jet. It means, so uh, we have a uh, so we have so we are starting uh, interaction between jet and medium so it means that we need we we also so we there exists also the uh, medium uh, uh, the back reaction in the medium uh, due to the interaction with the jet so i'd like to focus on that part in this uh, in this section okay so let me have introduction so uh, first, I'd like to talk about, uh, I'd like to briefly uh, summarize uh, modification of jet shower by a medium. Actually, it's already uh, exp uh, explained by uh, uh, Amit and Chanuk very well, uh, but here uh, I'd like to have a, a brief review here. So here, uh, what I'm having here is an, uh, a cartoon uh, to explain uh, vacuum shower. So here I, ha I have a very uh, fat, uh, thick uh, aloe, uh, it means uh, we have a very high virtual pattern. And due to this uh, initially assigned vitality, uh, it can split into uh, low virtual low virtual particles. So uh, this, so so actually, this the uh, in vacuum case. So this splitting is uh, driven uh, solely by the initially assigned vitality. But this can be modified when we have medium. So if we have medium. Oops. Uh, uh, when we have medium, so we, of course, we have uh, interaction with the medium uh, constituents. So because of this interaction, uh, in, in this interaction, so uh, the pattern propagate, uh, patterns propagating in the medium, uh, 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 can, uh, so th the, the energy and momentum of those uh, patterns uh, can be changed by the scatterings. And also uh, furthermore, so due to this interaction, so the splitting cap pattern can be uh, modified. So this mainly happened in the matter phase I've explained. And also uh, we may have uh, additional splitting due to the uh, interaction with the medium. This this can mainly happen in matter uh, matter phase, uh, Martini phase, or uh, um, LBT phase. So uh, in this way, so uh, so the the first uh, example. So so I explain uh, what uh, we we can have energy momentum change due to the uh, scattering. So th they are usually called uh, collisional energy loss, and also uh, they uh, those those scatterings stimulate. Uh, as uh, for, uh, further uh, splittings, and also they can modify the splitting pattern. So, uh, so they are they can be referred to as uh, medium modified or medium induced splittings. So uh, those are covered in previous lectures. And so here, so all those uh, modification of jet particles are uh, driven by uh, energy momentum transfer. Uh, with the medium constituent. So those energy momentum transfer can be considered as the source for the modification of showering jet patterns. And also uh, they can modify uh, the dynamics of the medium constituent. And actually uh, we need to take into those uh, effect to have a, to have a full uh, description of the jet quenching. So I will explain it later. So in this talk, uh, I'd like to cover how the dynamics of the medium constituent can be modified due to the interaction with the uh, hard particle property in the medium. Uh, okay, so I have a 
uh, pause sign here for any question here. I don't see any raised hands yet, so I okay. think you're mm -hmm. okay to continue. Okay, and Mickey, I can continue. Thank you. Uh, so here, so when we have a momentum transfer from jet pattern into the medium, so uh, actually they cause, uh, so the medium reacts to those uh, momentum transfer, the transferred momentum, and it leaves non-equivalent processes uh, involving uh, medium constituents. And uh, in the latter part of this, uh, in, in, the, in the latter stage, uh, those non-equivalent uh, uh, non propagation of energy and momentum uh, uh, will be, uh, so those, uh, those, uh, those energy and momentum will be uh, summarized into the medium in the end. And in the latter stage, so those energy and momentum will propagate in the same way as the, uh, the other medium constituent. It means, so we, we, we need to rely on a hydrodynamics in the same way as uh, the description of the, uh, the, the space-time evolution of the medium. So, and then I'd like to explain why we need to take into account such, uh, uh, such, uh, such kind of thing. So here, so usually we, uh, we, uh, we measure jet as a collimated uh, cluster of particles of hadron in the final state. So we have jet shower, uh, the jet pattern shower, and those pattern, uh, we, uh, those pattern uh, uh, hadronized, and then those hadrons are emitted, uh, uh, emitted, and then uh, we, 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 we cluster the, those particles and define a jet. But actually, uh, when we have uh, when we have energy moment transfer into the medium, so those so so uh, the transferred momentum from the jet particle propagating in through the uh, propagating through the medium, and also uh, those medium will will be hadronized in the end, and then uh, they emitted around the jet uh, around the hadrons from the had. Uh, Hadrons from the hard particles, and in principle, we cannot distinguish between those hadrons. So we do not know which hadron came from had, uh, pattern shower, which hadron came from the medium, which hadron came from uh, transferred momentum from the uh, from the media from the from jet from uh, to the medium. So uh, actually, uh, we cannot distinguish between them. So, uh, so uh, actually, uh, and also, uh, so uh, right, and then, uh, so yeah, we have we need to take into account also the particle from the medium, uh, the effect of the medium response, and because uh, because they are uh, they are correlated with jet, so they they always uh, come together with the uh, with, with the hadron from the jet, so we need to take into account them. And uh, actually, so they are jet correlated, so we cannot uh, subtract because we do not know. Uh, we we can we cannot treat it as uh, as pure background, and so and also if we can consider them as part of the jet, so we should not subtract. And they are usually very soft and spread out from the jet, and they can affect uh, structure inside and around the jet because uh, they tr they trigger together with the jet. Okay, hey, so I'd like to have motivation of, uh, uh, of study, including uh, medium response here. So, uh, so, so one uh, big motivation is, so we would like to have a full picture of jet quenching in heavy ion collision. So uh, the, the jet quenching is, uh, uh, is a phenomenon of redistribution of the jet energy and the momentum uh, via interaction with the medium. So here, what I'm, what I have in the middle of the uh, slide is a uh, uh, transverse momentum distribution. Uh, uh, so the angular, uh, uh, azimuth angle, uh, angle distribution of the transverse momentum in the uh, in the transverse plane. So uh, so now uh, collision axis is perpendicular to the screen. And uh, you, we, we are seeing transverse plane and, we, and those uh, histograms 
uh, shows the uh, the transverse momentum. So the height uh, indicate the uh, indicate the uh, transverse momentum uh, captured in the beam in this uh, in those uh, azimuth angle direction. So here we can see two uh, collimated uh, prominent peaks. So one here on the left hand side, you can see uh, a very, uh, uh, very, uh, uh, very narrow, but uh, very, uh, very high peak here. And we can see uh, a bit broadened, but, uh, but, uh, but a shorter uh, peak. So the left hand side, uh, actually, uh, we, we can find uh, the, the highest PT jet and it's called leading jet. And on the right hand side, we can we can we can uh, find a jet by uh, applying a jet jet re uh, reconstruction uh, algorithm, and and it has smaller PT than le leading jet, so we we refer uh, we refer it to as a uh, uh, sub sub leading jet. And uh, so here, so so as as I defined, the PT of the sub leading jet is smaller than the leading jet. So, however, if we if we take, uh, if we consider a uh, whole region in the transverse plane, so PT leading jet is calculated, uh, calculated, calculated uh, from uh, only the region around the peak, and same thing happened. Uh, same thing is done to the sub leading jet. But if we take into account a uh, whole region in the transverse plane, and actually stretch, uh, the stretching is slightly different from uh, from. from 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 what we can see, what we can think from this uh, inequality. So if we take some of momentum in the uh, hemisphere on the leading jet side, and let's take another, uh, let's take a uh, moment, uh, uh, let, and then separately, let's take a uh, momentum sum in the in the hemisphere on the subleading jet side, and actually they are balanced each other. So if we take sum between the, the, these two, so uh, the total momentum goes to zero. So the momentum in the leading jet side and momentum on the uh, subleading jet side, they are balanced, each, balanced together each other. So, and actually uh, this, this momentum, so here we can see momentum imbalance between subleading jet and leading jet, but in the end we have balance between these two uh, hemispheres. So this, this is because of the compensation from soft particles emitted, emitted at very large angle region from the subleading jet. And we can consider they, uh, we, can, we can consider that they, are, they originate from uh, energy and momentum transfer from the jet to the medium because subleading jet is uh, supposed to uh, have more larger energy loss. So they deposit en more energy and momentum uh, into the medium than leading jet. And those, uh, lo th those lost energy propagates in the medium and then they, they, they found at the largely angle region. So if we, we really want to see uh, how uh, we can uh, describe this uh, this soft particle. Actually, we need to have medium response effect, and then medium response effect. Okay. So another motivation is uh, uh, another motivation is a uh, theoretical motivation. So uh, actually, if we can detect, if we can find uh, energy and momentum, uh, so uh, some portion of jet energy and momentum are. Uh, uh, momentum come from uh, from medium, so we can study uh, QGP medium involving uh, involving the uh, phenomena of uh, in medium summarization. So uh, if uh, if some portion of jet energy and momentum are summarized in the medium and propagated in the medium, and in, in the end uh, they captured together with the jet. So uh, and actually uh, they carry the information. Uh, of the in medium summarization process. So if so, let's assume we have a soft, uh, we have a very hard bottom, but it's not, and but it, it but due to the energy loss, uh, they can become uh, they, they become soft, and in the end, uh, the energy uh, the the momentum of the hard pattern uh, become close to the uh, typical scale of the energy of the medium constituents. So in the end, uh, that energy and momentum will be absorbed in the medium. So uh, I'm, I'm saying this process is the in the medium summarization. And, uh, and, 
and 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 the Hagelin, uh captured uh, together with the jet uh, from the medium uh, inhaled this information. Uh, we we can expect so. Uh, for example, by studying this uh, by studying jet uh, uh, precisely, we may have a chance to uh, extract information of in medium summarization. For example, uh, the the typical time scale of this process or uh, diffusion, uh, uh, so uh, and also the uh, the strength of the diffusion of energy and momentum during this process, and also uh, the typical uh, scale of the energy of the head pattern, which is which can be involved in this in medium summarization process. Okay, so uh, right. So uh, I'd like to explain how uh, how we can describe uh, such medium response uh, process uh, within Jetscape. So one is a weekly couple description uh, relying on the uh, prescription with a leak cause. So uh, this is implemented in Matter, LBT, and Martini, and actually uh, briefly mentioned by Chanuk and the uh, Amit. So, uh, in in the energy loss module, uh, actually we calculate uh, the probability of the scattering between uh, hard pattern and uh, part the particle inside the medium, and uh, once. Uh, we determine we have a scattering uh, between uh, hard pattern and medium constituent, and we sample a pattern from the medium by using a thermal distribution, and then uh, we uh, then we calculate the, the scattering amplitude, and then we obtain uh, the we we obtain the uh, energy and momentum of the scattered particle. And actually, we add those particles in the list of the jet shower. So, uh, and they are treated in the same way as other other showering particles uh, in the jet. And uh, here, uh, so this description is uh, uh, good when the scattered particles energy is uh, is is larger uh, larger than the uh, typical energy scale of the medium constituent. So, uh, if so, uh, so scattered particles. So let's say the scattered particles energy is E, and if it, this E is larger than the typical energy and momentum of the medium constituent, and then uh, this uh, this description is reasonable. But here, uh, we uh, one thing we need to uh, take into account, and uh, that is so here in this process, actually, just shower gain energy and momentum from the medium because. We we pick up a particle from the medium and then we attach in the, uh, we we add it in the in the in the list of the jet shower. Uh, so uh, so here we need to take into account the uh, picked up energy and momentum from the medium. So they are uh, they sometimes called negative pattern or holes. So uh, so I. I call negative pattern and hole. Uh, uh, so I, I call uh, patterns uh, picked up uh, pattern sample in the medium uh, and and has uh, original momentum of momentum uh, before the scattering uh, negative pattern or holes. And we assume those particle free stream in the medium, and then in the end uh, to have energy momentum uh, conservation, we subtract. Subtract energy and momentum of those particles from the final state signal. So let's say uh, we have we want let's say we want to calculate uh, the 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 spectrum of the particle from a jet. So it, it, so here uh, d d p mu d eta d phi signal, and then uh, the orange uh, one is the contribution from the jet shower. So the you, you, the uh, it's it's a sum it's it's a sum uh, of uh, of of the contribution from the pattern in the uh, you know of, of the particle in the final state in the shower. But to to have energy momentum conservation, we need to subtract energy and momentum for for, for those picked up energy and momentum. So we we keep their their energy and momentum, and then we 
uh, we subtract them from the uh, subtracted uh, to obtain the signal energy and momentum here. So uh, this is the uh, this is so-called uh, weekly couple description of uh, for the medium response in Jetscape. So another way to describe uh, medium response is a uh, strongly coupled description by using hydrodynamics. So uh, because uh, if uh, the medium const uh, if uh, the if the jet the, the some portion of jet energy and momentum uh, be, uh, very uh, soft become very soft and then uh, we need to rely on hydrodynamic in the same way as uh, the space evolution of the uh, bulk medium. So this is conventional hydrodynamic equation uh, used in hydro hydro model. So del mu t mu nu is equal to zero. We have zero on the right hand side. And this T mu nu is the energy momentum tensor of the medium fluid. And essentially, uh, this equation, uh, this ex equation is the energy momentum conservation in medium fluid. However, uh, here we want to uh, consider interaction with the medium between the medium and jet, and via those interactions, actually, in some energy and momentum are transferred from the jet to the medium. So we need to take into account such uh, incoming energy from the jet particles. So to have it, so uh, we, can, uh, we can use hydrodynamic equation with Solstam. So here we add J nu here on the right-hand side. And this, uh, this corresponds to uh, incoming four momentum density due to the jet propagation. Uh, so it's called Solstam. And by solving this equation, uh, we can describe medium fluid evolution with, uh, with energy and the momentum, uh, momentum deposited from jet shower. And, and, uh, and, and in the end, uh, we can, uh, we can calculate, uh, we can obtain a particle from the bulk with contribution for, uh, of the, the of with, with contribution of energy momentum deposition from the from a jet uh, by, by using Cooper fly uh, formula in the same way as the conventional hydrodynamic uh, model. And this J uh, is modeled with causal diffusion uh, module in Jetscape. So I'd like to explain about this module uh, in the next slide. So here, uh, We'd like to consider energy momentum deposition. So, uh, energy momentum deposition happens when we have very soft particle, and they they are supposed to be absorbed in the medium. And also, when we pick up energy and momentum from medium, so those negative energy should be diffused in the medium. So, here uh, we have a, a we have a predetermined parameter e, eth. And let's say uh, if the pattern of the uh, the energy of the pattern at the local rest frame in the of the medium uh, medium is smaller than this predetermined parameter, and then we assume that pattern is going to uh, ab to be absorbed in the medium. And it, once we find such soft particle, uh, we we assign. Uh, we assign a uh, source term for them, for, for, for source term for each, for each of them. And then uh, we, we, we put, it, uh, put it on the right-hand side of the uh, hydrodynamic equation. And also when we have uh, pick up energy and momentum uh, for, this, for the scattering between hard particle and soft particle, uh, we assign uh, we assign negative soft, uh, negative uh, source term. And the profile of those source uh, term will be calculated by using uh, causal, uh, uh, co causal diffusion um, uh, module in Jetscape. So first uh, we, uh, we prepare, uh, we prepare a data function like profile and 
with uh, with energy and momentum which will be uh, absorbed uh, which will be uh, deposited into the medium and then we we let this evolve by solving relativistic diffusion equation and then uh, we will have a, we will have a finite side uh, profile for the uh, solar system and then we will uh, we attach this uh, prof uh, this solar system with this profile uh, in the uh, on the right hand side of the hydrodynamic equation. So here uh, we newly introduced some parameters. One is the scale, uh, the energy scale, the typical energy scale for the uh, in medium summarization. So, uh, uh, so we we assume that if we find soft particle whose energy is smaller than this scale, uh, those, those particles uh, is uh, supposed to be summarized in the medium. And also uh, we, we use this diffusion, uh, diffusion equation. So, uh, so in, this, this, in this diffusion equation, uh, we have two, uh, two parameters. One is diffusion coefficient and, and one is relaxation time in, the, in diffusion. So uh, they, uh, they control the dynamics during the diffusion. And also uh, we have a time scale for this uh, diffusion process. So uh, the, the, the time duration uh, between uh, when we detect uh, the soft particle and, and, uh, and the time we, we put those energy in, in the, uh, we, we put the, those energy in the medium. We have about five minutes left. Okay. Uh, and they characterize uh, dynamics during in medium summarization process. So uh, I'd like to show a hydrodynamic flow induced by jet, mom, uh, jet momentum deposition here. So uh, here I'm presenting, uh, I'm presenting a temperature profile of the medium. And uh, so a temperature difference uh, between when we have jet energy deposition and uh, when we do not have uh, energy momentum deposition of the medium uh, in XY plane. So here, actually jet is now propagating on the, uh, propagating to the, to the light. And then you can see that around the jet, uh, we, uh, we can see uh, increase of the temperature like this. And actually behind of this, uh, this temper uh, higher temperature region, uh, even we can have a, a lower temperature region compared to the case where we do not have uh, energy momentum division because jet push some energy and momentum in the jet direction. So that, that is why we can, we, can, we can sometimes have such, uh, such a negative contribution. And on the right-hand side, uh, I'm showing the same uh, temp uh, temperature difference profile of the medium in X tau plane. And then you can see High temperature le uh, tape region uh, uh, along this uh, dashed line. Uh, this dashed line shows the show the path of the jet in X tau plane. And actually, here, uh, so because of the causality, uh, the, temp the the modification of the temperature profile is uh, it can be seen only the region below the this uh, jet path. And again, we can see some uh, some negative uh, contribution here. And here, uh, actually, uh, in the same way as uh, uh, weekly couple discussion, uh, we need to have a background subtraction uh, because uh, we rely. Uh, so here, uh, some portion of the jet propagates in the medium, so we need to add uh, medium particles. So, uh, so, so in principle, we can calculate the signal of the jet in this way. So first, uh, so first, uh, we can uh, we can take uh, we can cons uh, consider uh, the contribution of the medium together with the jet and jet energy moment of deposition. But to get the signal from the jet. Uh, we need to have another simulation in which we do not have uh, in which we do not have jet propagation, and then after the subtraction, uh, we can we can have a signal. Uh, we can see, see the signal from the jet. And here, uh, here, what I am showing is the uh, spectrum of the 
spectrum, cal uh, spectrum calculated by a Cooper fly. Uh, so the spectrum uh, of the particle emitted from the medium by using Cooper fly. And, uh, and <laughs> so uh, I, when we have, uh, and, and actually uh, this is, uh, the, the difference is already taken. So uh, we calculated uh, the spectrum uh, with jet, uh, jet uh, energy mo uh, momentum deposition and without jet energy momentum, and we I take the uh, we've already taken the difference between them. So then we can see this difference. So because of the jet energy uh, deposition, so we can see the peak around the jet direction. So jet direction now corresponds to phi equals zero and eta equals zero. And not only uh, the peak, and but actually we can see uh, we can see uh, we can see such a uh, uh, negative uh, contribution uh, due to the negative uh, negative contribution uh, we can see even in the in the flow profile. So we can even in the final uh, spectrum we can see such uh, we can see their contribution. Okay, so uh, actually I'm running out of time, but uh, I'd like to uh, flash some recent results from JustGate. And in the, in those results, uh, actually we we have uh, only weekly composition by decoys. And uh, may, uh, sorry to, to briefly ask sorry. a question. Uh, if you'd like uh -huh. to spend a little bit more time here, uh, if you'd like to go a little bit more slowly, would you like to do that and then cut into the hands-on time mm -hmm. a little bit today, or would you like to go through these quickly and then keep the full? Uh, okay, time? so uh, uh, let me finish uh, this first, and then uh, yeah, I can answer. To it. I thought to the question. Uh, Raymond, there's a question from Bill in the chat. Uh -huh. There's a question from Bill Zeitz in the chat. Bill, you want to speak up and just give your give your okay. question, probably? Yeah. Sorry, it took me a bit to unmute. Um, Yes, I was wondering if the uh, parameters uh, E threshold and then the formation time are independent or do they have to satisfy, well, I think they do have to satisfy some uncertainty relations. Mm, So here uh, we introduce them uh, as the phenomenological parameters. So we treat them uh, uh, independently. But uh, if we have a formula, a theoretical formulation, and then we can relate them. But uh, for now, uh, we uh, we introduce them uh, phenomenologically. So uh, we treat them uh, separately. But uh, once we have uh, some theoretical uh, framework, we can be connected to uh, this description, and then yeah, we can we can find a uh, connection between a uh, connection among those parameters. I think. Okay, thank you. Maybe after the mm -hmm. lecture, you could post uh, where we could find descriptions of the numerical values used for those parameters. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Actually, if I could, if I could do a follow up, I mean, this is, uh, if you go back to that formula, there's no H bar there. This is a purely classical formulation. So, in that sense, um, I'm not sure that a formal uncertainty relationship in the quantum mechanical sense is needed. Um, could that be part of the part of the answer to Bill? Well, you'd like to make sure you're not violating an uncertainty relationship in your modeling. Sure, and, and the underlying processes, of course, are all quantum mechanical, but it seems to me there's a, a sort of a classical uh -huh. in being taken here implicitly, if not explicitly. Yeah. Here, uh, actually, so, uh, Yeah, here actually, uh, in at least in JetScape, so uh, 
uh, scattering uh, between the medium uh, medium constituent and jet particles are described uh, by uh, classical description. So, part, so a kinetic theory we use. So here, so we've already lost uh, most of the information of the quantum mechanical effect. So that is why we do not have such a uh, thing here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I may have misunderstand the question. So. I see your hand raised. Do you want to follow up on this? Yes. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, so the so the answer the, the point it is true it is a classical description, but it, it has to be outside the uncertainty bound. Right. So the I think his E thermal or ETH, whatever that is, that's about a GEV, right, roughly speaking. Um, and so that would correspond to uh, uh, if you did the uncertainty relation, it would be about uh, 0.2 Fermi roughly. And so in all of the diffusion equations, the, or the diffusion process that we run, the, usually the diffusion happens over a Fermi or larger. So it's, it's, it's outside the uncertainty bound. We're not violating the uncertainty bound. I hope that answers Bill's question. Yes, it does. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you. Now I, now I understand. Uh, yeah. You, uh, uh, considering, yeah, <laughs> I see. Thank you. Uh, okay, so, so I'd like to flash some uh, some uh, results from recent results from Jetscape. So here, uh, what I'm showing is jet LAA and charges have an LAA. So it's that, so, so uh, and we, we tuned parameters for let it, uh, zero to 10% uh, collision at uh, 5 TeV and 2.76 2 TeV. And just shower here is uh, simulated with uh, the with the combination of matter plus MVT with a weakly coupled uh, medium response uh, distribution recoil. So the left hand side we have a uh, jet LAA, and right hand side we have a uh, hadron LAA. So actually we have a uh, uh, we we are having a major update in Jetscape, and then uh, in that update uh, we are including. Uh, uh, we are including uh, new uh, new formulation for Q hat, and so in in this new formulation, uh, we have a smaller energy loss at high budgetary region uh, based on uh, uh, based on the 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 theory uh, taking into account the resolution of the medium constituent in the in the QGP. So with this new uh, formulation actually we successfully describe uh, hadron LAA and jet LAA at the same time. So uh, by using this, uh, by using this, uh, uh, this framework with uh, uh, with tuned parameter, so we also we studied uh, also jet substructures. So, but here, uh, so we have a good simultaneous description of data for both for jet and hadron, and also we can see the significant effect of uh, bar charity dependence of jet energy loss in in particular in hadron LAA. So, okay, so then here uh, I'd like to show uh, jet fragmentation function results. So, jet fragmentation function is uh, 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 can be uh, can be roughly explained uh, by uh, momentum distribution of the particle uh, momentum distribution of the particle inside of the jet, and uh, z is the momentum fraction between uh, the particle inside of the jet and jet uh, the total jet energy. And here, uh, what uh, the, the top panel show the row uh, uh, fragmentation function, so distribution of the uh, the G distribution of the particle inside the medium. So, and and uh, and the blue dashed line show the PP result, and the uh, red solid line shows the uh, the matter plus LBT in medium result. And the lower panel showing uh, the uh, the uh, the ratio between uh, lead and PP, and we can see. Uh, we ha uh, in Jetscape result we have enhancement at at low 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 Z region. It means that we have soft particle inside the jet, and also uh, we can see the contribution of the uh, 
the 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 hard particle in in the jet becomes uh, more dominant in 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 the case with uh, medium uh, in, in in the case with for uh, lead lead collision, and we can see the uh, uh, we can see uh, suppression at the middle the uh, region. So uh, roughly we capture the uh, the behavior in the data uh, by uh, Atlas. So here. Missile uh, enhancement at small z, but actually it's insufficient. So we need to have uh, further. Uh, we need to we need further mechanisms. So by so for example by including uh, hydrodynamic uh, description of the medium response, and also uh, we can see uh, we can see uh, enhancement uh, enhancement of the contribution of the high z particle. Uh, Due to the small energy loss of a high batcher pat patterns uh, be, uh, by the effect of the batcher dependent uh, Q hat formulation. So, uh, the last uh, observable I'd like to show is jet shape function. Jet shape function is a distribution of the PT, uh, PT as a function of uh, the radial distance from the jet direction. So, R. Uh, it's it's denoted by R. So R is calculated. Uh, calculated uh, R is the radial distance from the jet direction, and then so we let's set uh, this uh, colored region at uh, colored region uh, where uh, colored region and the, the those region is uh, the, the 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 distance from the jet direction uh, to the those region is R. And then uh, we we count the energy uh, we count the transfer momentum uh, captured in this region, and then we can obtain uh, we can obtain the PT distribution distribution as a function of R. And the on the right hand side, uh, the right, uh, this figure shows the uh, this gesture, the the ratio between this jet shape uh, for lead lead and PP. So uh, so where R is small. Uh, we 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 are seeing uh, jet direction and where uh, the R is large, so we we see uh, we see the region close to the edge of the jet comb. Uh, so the solid dash a solid line shows the result from uh, matter plus LBT in jetscape framework, and then here we can see uh, collimation uh, at very small R region and uh, enhancement at large uh, large angle region. And dashed line shows the result in which I subtracted the contribution from the recoil particles. And then here you can see that uh, most of the uh, broadening effect is brought in by, brought in by uh, recoils. So uh, we can see collimation at small, small R region, and we can see uh, large angle, uh, the broadening at large, and that, and that broadening is brought by the recoil contribution. Okay, so uh, so sorry for running out of time. So, but uh, I'd like to summarize this talk. So uh, here uh, we we are we want to uh, con uh, we are we are, we are taking into account uh, medium response to jet quenching to have full picture of uh, uh, jet quenching in heavy ion collision. So uh, medium response is the medium constituent uh, reaction to the interaction with the jet, and they can contribute to the jet observable in heavy ion collision. So we so that is why we need to uh, we need to have, uh, we need to have model to describe this uh, effect. And they can carry information of the in-medium summarization process. And then it, it's essential for comprehensive understanding of the jet quenching. And uh, how we implement uh, a medium response in Jetscape is, is, done, uh, is done in this way. So a weekly couple description of the medium response is implemented as we call in Meta, LBT, and Martini. And strongly coupled description is uh, is done by hydrodynamics. In Jetscape, you can use music or CLPs. And the intermediate for the intermediate stage, generating a uh, profile of the source term, uh, uh, we can uh, you can use causal diffusion uh, module in Jetscape. And here, uh, I'd like to summarize a uh, weekly couple prediction of medium response. And actually, for this, we, we've already uh, obtained uh, many results of uh, object observable. And we can see broadening, uh, broadening of the jet shape and soft particle enhancement inside the jet. And actually, they give us a good direction of the jet observable. Uh, for strongly coupled description of the medium response, actually, uh, within this framework, we 
there's no clear distinction of back, uh, distinction from backland and and jet uh, jet component anymore. So we need to have background subtraction, and and also uh, when we have uh, when we have uh, energy momentum deposition into the medium, so we can see jet collated structure in hadron emission from the dark medium. Uh, so these are outlooks. So we need to have systematic study to extract detailed load of medium response. So uh, in jet shape, I've already sh I showed that uh, the contribution of the recoil, but we need to have we need to have 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 similar study also for other observable like uh, jet fragmentation function, jet LAA, coincide dependence of jet LAA, something like that. And uh, for uh, for strong wave cup projection of the medium response, so actually we need to have more further tests of simulation and start, and we need to study the uh, we and also we need to study uh, the the background the proper background subtraction and full of simulation with strong wave cup projection sh uh, should be done uh, to find the way uh, to find a way to uh, see the effect of the hydrodynamic. Uh, evolution of the uh, deposited energy and momentum from the jet. Okay, so I'd like to stop here, so thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much for this nice talk. Um, since we've already had a, a little bit of discussion, uh, okay, uh, yeah, since we've already had a little bit of discussion and we're running a little bit late on time, uh, I would propose that anyone who has questions, please uh, put them into Slack. Um, and since we've been going for a couple hours, uh, I would propose let's take a quick break. Uh, everyone can get up and stretch your legs or so. Uh, so let's convene back here at uh, 15 after, and we can pick up the, the preparation for the, the hands-on session there. So see you, see you back again in uh, eight minutes.